what does that tell you? So that was an easy way to, to kind of start. But how do, you, how do you determine whether that's fraudulent? You go through the, the, well, if you have six adults, uh, some, there might be, these are not apartment buildings, these are residents. Residents. Yeah. If you go, you go to uh, driver's licenses and check to see if those people exist, you can, there's all kinds of voter records, you can get, actually get the uh, copies, redacted copies of voter registrations and check to see if they're, you know, same name with different signatures, if the signatures match, all that kind of thing. So it's a very clear, heavy clerical kind of thing, and we're going to need a lot of people to, to do that. There is a database, um, so we will have a database to be able to run some numbers through and, and, and bring down to the things that make sense to look at. And we're going to have to also uh, probably target certain areas uh, that we think that might be more Per, you know, might have the fraud as opposed to other areas that might not be so fraudulent. Even the clerical part, you can't do that at home, right? You have to. No, you might be able to do that at home. Yeah. And if you find it, how do they eliminate that from the, uh, the role? They have to be. Uh, it's a, a it's a legal thing that we're going to have to to do. To I think if you go to the board of elections then and. and give them lists of people who perhaps are not truly um, registered voters, that they County. have to clean up them. In Will County, we can go to, I'm the township clerk, and if I find something like that, I take it to the Will County clerk, and she'll take care of it. So they just so take it, and then when you, when you go to the polls to vote, there's no record there, so you can't vote. Is there any way we can put picture IDs for voters? That, that's one of the things that actually Texas just was able to put through. Um, it will probably be a much more difficult thing in Illinois. And I think we're just going to, uh, with this initiative, stay focused on just trying to clean up voter rolls. We can support as many candidates as we want as a Tea Party and, and work hard at that. But if if the other guys are gaming the system and, and voting illegally, it, it doesn't do us any good. So it's that's why I'm excited about this. I feel like maybe it evens the playing field a little bit. Can't you just have an entry put in a driver's license, eligible to vote or registered? The that fact that we do it on driver's li license right now anyway uh, is one of the things that's causing the fraud because they don't check anything. Um, the, there's an example that when I was at the summit that showed a voter's registration that says, are you a U.S. citizen? And the person had marked no, and they were allowed to vote. Oh. So it's not even people who are trying to cheat, necessarily. I don't think this is a real problem in Will County, because I've been an election judge for at least five or six years, and I've never seen any of this that you're talking about. I think Nancy Volk's in our county clerk has it pretty well under control. People coming in, if we don't know, they have to show their voter registration card, not their driver's license, and we have to match their uh, signature to every form. So I, I don't see where there's a problem. Now in Chicago, I don't know how they do it. I don't know how they do it in any other county, but I think... I, and I and it may not be, and, and we're not going to just target Will County, and I know this is Will County, but we're looking for volunteers to go to any, any and all polling places. The problem is absentee. That's the other problem, the yes. The are the ones that are voting all the dead people, not necessarily somebody... Exactly, in nursing homes and all of that. So there's a lot of ways to target this, um, and we're going to do whatever we can to, to work on it, but right now the part of it is cleaning up the voter rolls. How many polling places in the whole state? Now, why didn't you ask me, Cook 